think uh, the advice I would give Monica, the 14 year old, is probably just not to stress out so much because I was very anxious. You know, I always wanted to strive for perfection and to realize that there's really no perfection. I mean, that ball is gonna be bouncing all over the place. And my sport is such a good metaphor for that because yeah, you might hit a perfect shot, but you might hit a crappy shot afterwards. Um, and for me, the other one was I have dyslexia. So for me, the school was very hard and you know, you were bullied a bit and just made fun of because I saw the world very differently. And that is okay. You know, we're not all of us are the same. And you have to work extra hard to maybe finish a project that maybe somebody else was very easy. But I think to give yourself also sometimes a pat on the back and say, you know, it's okay, you're doing a great, good job. Maybe not a great, good job. But still to keep going and not give up you know, and put in the hours. Like for me, I knew in tennis in school, I had to put in the extra hours because I wasn't the most talented tennis player out there. So I knew I had to play extra hours on the ball machine. And truly in school, I knew I needed extra hours because I was just dyslexic and it took them a long time to figure out what was going on with me. And I felt really, you know, very anxious about it and been depressed for a while until I figured out what it was. And I said, okay, I have it. I'll make the best out of it.